I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about L-carnosine as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. L-carnosine is a dipeptide of the amino acids beta-alanine and histidine. Carnosine is found throughout your body. The highest concentrations are in high energy demand areas such as your brain, heart, and muscles. Now to start out with, don't mistake L-carnosine for L-carnitine. Now L-carnosine is known as a longevity molecule and targets several major processes in your brain and body. It removes heavy metals which accumulate in and damage brain cells which causes diseases like Alzheimer's. And it prevents cross-linking of proteins, which cause the neurofibrillary tangles found in Alzheimer's. L-carnosine fights mitochondrial dysfunction by relieving oxidative stress caused by accumulation of free radicals in cells. Now, this not only works in your brain cells, L-carnosine is used by athletes to achieve better results. It, its buffering nature contributes to the acid balance in muscles. Researchers have found L-carnosine restores neurotransmitter receptors, receptors that were damaged from stroke or glutamate toxicity. And L-carnosine reduces damage to telomeres. These caps on the end of DNA strands shorten each cell's replication. Now this natural ongoing process is used, for example, in uh, long-term potentiation to form memories. L-carnosine slows the uh, shortening of telomeres. Some L-carnosine is naturally produced in your body by the enzyme carnosine synthetase. And you get L-carnitine from food, primarily from red meat and poultry. But a typical meal provides only about 250 milligrams of carnosine. It's then quickly degraded by your body by the carnosinase enzyme. This means carnosine from food doesn't last long enough in your body to provide much benefit. And if you're a vegetarian, you won't be getting much carnosine other than what's naturally produced in your body. Now, supplementing with at least 1,000 milligrams of L-carnosine per day overwhelms the carnosinase uh, enzyme and allowing you to maintain consistent levels of this vital nutrient. L-carnosine boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, L-carnosine is critical for brain health. L-carnosine's antioxidant neuroprotective chelating and anti-glycation activity not only maintains optimal brain health, this dipeptide can be used to prevent and treat neurodegenerative diseases, diabetes, and diseases of the sense organs like, like your eyes, and cancer. L-carnosine has been shown to reduce oxidative and glycemic stress, and it reduces inflammation, L-carnosine reduces the accumulation of B-amyloid plaque, which plays a role in cognitive dysfunction and in Alzheimer's. And it helps remove heavy metals that cross the blood-brain barrier and that accumulate in brain cells. And the second way L-carnosine helps the brain, it's required for your healthy mitochondria. In your brain, you've got tens of thousands of mitochondria in each neuron, and they pump out energy in the form of ATP. Now, 20% of your body's total ATP is located in your brain. Glycation during this energy production reduces the function and efficiency of mitochondria. This, in turn, can cause apoptosis, or cell death. Glycation happens when proteins or DNA bond chemically to sugar molecules. These sugar molecules go on to form advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. These ages are implicated in Alzheimer's, skin wrinkles, hardened arteries, and reducing the function of most major organs, including your brain. Now, a study in the Netherlands was done to examine the association between ages and cognitive function. This population-based study also included 215 people with type 2 diabetes. Researchers tested for global cognitive functioning, uh, information processing speed, verbal memory, and response inhibition. The study found that there was direct correlation 
with markers measured for ages and decreased cognitive performance. And the associations were no different between healthy people and those with diabetes. And another study at the University of California determined that L-carnosine was able to prevent ages. There is a proven high correlation between human lifespan and L-carnosine levels. L-carnosine is highly concentrated in your muscles and brain and is directly involved in a number of life-extending activities. L-carnosine helps prevent the buildup of advanced glycation end products, or ages, that damage mitochondria and eventually end up in premature cell death. It is a heavy metal chelator and works by removing heavy metal accumulation of brain cells. L-carnosine is an antioxidant and pH buffer in, in muscle cells, preventing lactic acid buildup. When you supplement with L-carnosine, you'll notice younger looking skin and you'll have more energy. You should experience a boost in cognition and decision making capability. Thinking should be more fluid and your motivation should, should see a boost. These changes are reported by neurohackers in their 20s and 30s as well as the more senior neurohacker. But most of the talk and research on L-carnosine is on its anti-aging and longevity benefits. So what if I told you that it also helps fight the flu? It turns out that the flu virus raises nitric oxide and oxygen-free radicals, such as the superoxide anion, uh, NO and O2. When NO and O2 interact, they form peroxynitrate, the pathogen that causes pneumonia. The excess amount of toxicity in oxygen radicals generated overwhelms your immune system. A study in the American Journal of Therapeutics reports that L-carnosine can put a stop to this overwhelm and help you avoid or get rid of the flu or a cold. And eating chicken soup to make you feel better when you're sick is not an old wives' tale after all. Chicken soup is rich in L-carnosine. Now, we've got studies, uh, plenty of studies in L-carnosine. The first one I've got here is L-carnosine improves cognition. Animal and human studies suggest that NMDA antagonists worsen executive function, and this dysfunction is often caused by glutamate toxicity. And if this persists, you end up with diseases like schizophrenia. Now, this double-blind placebo-controlled study worked with 75 adults with schizophrenia. They were stable in their symptoms at the time of the study. The subjects were randomly selected to receive two grams of L-carnosine per day for three months. Executive dysfunction in memory, attention, and motor speed were assessed at the beginning of the end of four and 12 weeks. The L-carnosine group performed much better in executive function tests and were better at strategy with fewer errors than the placebo group. We've also got another study of how L-carnosine improves autism uh, symptoms in children. And then I've got another study on L-carnosine and anti-aging. In 1965, Dr. Leonard Hayfleck found that human cells have a limited capacity to divide, after which they become senescent. This is what's known as the Hayfleck limit. Hayfleck discovered that, as you, that your cells go through three phases. The first is rapid cell division called mitosis. The second is where mitosis slows, and the third stage is senescence, where the cells stop dividing entirely. They remain alive for a while, and then they do a particularly disturbing thing. They commit suicide. This program cell death is called apoptosis. Now this life cycle occurs throughout your body and its trillions of cells, including in your brain. But what if there was some way to slow down the program cell death? Well, it turns out there is. It's called L-carnosine. Researchers at Sydney Laboratory in Australia found that L-carnosine extended cell life. They put a cultured, aged human cells in a petri dish with carnosine, and the cells reverted back to juvenile cells. And when they put those same newly regenerated cells in a culture that had no carnosine, they reverted back to their old self again, put them back into carnosine, and they got young again. This experiment has been done again and again in labs around the world. 
Establishing L-carnosine is the best anti-aging thing since Ponce de Leon was searching for the fountain of youth right here in Florida, where I'm recording this video. David Guetta thinks that Miami is the sexiest city in the world. It could be that everybody in Miami is using L-carnosine. Recommended L-carnosine dosage is 1,000 milligrams a day. To keep a consistent level of L-carnosine in your body, split your dose into two 500 milligram doses, one in the morning and one later in the afternoon. Now, one important note about L-carnosine. When you supplement with L-carnosine, it binds to aldehydes, preventing them from making proteins. The product they produce is called lipofuscin. The aging pigment, it's, it's not dangerous, but it shows up as brown spots on your brain, your skin, and other organs. You know those age spots that you see on your skin? That's lipofuscin. So as lipofuscin builds up over time, and this process is accelerated when using L-carnosine, it can interfere with proper organ and cellular functions. It doesn't just look bad. Now this is why I recommend stacking L-carnosine with DMAE and acetyl-L-carnitine, or L-car. DMAE is a naturally occurring nutrient that enhances or is said to enhance acetylcholine synthesis and it helps get rid of lip lipofuscin. And L-car boosts mitochondrial energy while acting as a neuroprotectant. Both DMAE and L-car help flush lipofuscin from your brain and body. So stack your daily dose of 1,000 milligrams of L-carnosine with DMAE and L-car at the recommended doses. L-carnosine is water soluble, so you don't need to take it with a meal or a healthy fat like some other nootropics. Carnosine is considered an extremely and non-toxic and safe nootropic. High doses can cause insomnia because L-carnosine can act, give, it offers kind of like a stimulant effect. So take your second dose before evening. L-carnosine comes in powder, capsule, tablet, and liquid form. Most major supplement manufacturers offer 500 milligram tablets or capsules. But make sure that you read the labels and get L-carnosine in its natural form. Some manufacturers will try to fool you by calling their synthetic carnosine natural sounding names like Nature Identical. But lab created L-carnosine is not the real thing and not nearly as bioavailable. So my nootropics expert recommendation for L-carnosine is 1,000 milligrams a day. And that's my report on L-carnosine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for L-carnitine. Or just click on the link down below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using L-carnosine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. Uh, I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.